Hi everyone, my name is Connor McDonald. This is me, this is how you tweet me, this is where I live, and today we're going to talk about the better truncate facilities in 12C. Let's set the scene first. First of all, I'll create a table called Parent. It's got a primary key. I'll create a table called Child, and as the name suggests, it has a column called P which refers back to our parent. It's a standard foreign key relationship. Let's put a row inside our parent, one row there. Let's put another row inside our child, which refers back to that parent. All nice and simple. Let's try truncate our parent table. We can't. This is a well-known problem in Oracle. If you have a foreign key to a child table, you can't truncate the parent because there are enabled foreign keys. Maybe if we create the table as a on-delete cascade to infer to the database that we want to be able to truncate all the way down. Well, let's put our rows back in and guess what? We try to truncate the table and it still can't be done. The only way in fact before 12C you can do this is to disable the constraint. Let's look at that. I'll take my table called child, I'll disable the constraint and now I can truncate my table called parent. That all seems well and good, but what have I done? I've disabled a critical constraint in my system. Obviously I need to put that constraint back on. So when I try to do that, what might happen? I might get an error. While the constraint was disabled, someone may have put invalid data into my child table that didn't have a parent. We have an orphan row. That's a problem because what this means is to truncate a table with a foreign key in it, you really have to take an application outage. Can 12C help out here? Let's have a look. Now I can do truncate table parent. I've done no changes. I've still got my parent and child table in a foreign key relationship. All I do is add the cascade keyword. That will truncate the parent table. And because I specified cascade, it also truncates the child table. By definition, we can't leave orphan rows in the child table. It must be an on delete cascade constraint. And that is one slight shortcoming in this feature. You might need to recreate the constraint to activate it. If I just try to take that existing constraint and modify it to be on delete cascade, I'll get a syntax error. We don't support that just yet. Similarly, I might say we'll leave the existing constraint in place and create a new one temporarily with on delete cascade. I can't have two constraints that do the same thing. So you might need to drop and recreate it just that once. It is a full cascade. So if you have multiple foreign key relationships, one table is the parent of another table, which is the parent of another table and so forth, then it will cascade all the way down, wiping out all those rows. So it's important to be careful when using cascade truncate. One of the cool things is if you're using a reference partition system, you can actually truncate referential tables at the partition level. So truncate one partition in the parent and that will cascade down to a partition in the child. So there you go, 12C, much easier truncate facilities. Thanks for watching, we'll see you all again soon.